are you guys ready to build some more stuff with paper clips? Okay, so today we're going to build something really cool. Uh, it's a little bit trickier to get it just right, but the but the materials aren't too bad, and I think that you could probably try this at home. Uh, so of course we're going to use I'm going to use paper clips. So I have some paper clips. Let me show you some of the other things I'm going to use. I'm using this cork board, uh, just so I can like thumbtack things down instead of mounting them more permanently, so I can be quicker. Uh, you're going to need a battery. So this is a nine volt battery. That one works really well. If you have a a D cell battery, it, it can kind of work too, okay? It's all about how you get it to work. If you don't have the cork board, you could actually uh, mount everything on a piece of block like this. I have trouble getting the, the thumbtacks in a block, so I'm not gonna do that. Um, now, the other thing that you're gonna need is a, a coil. So this is, I don't even know where I found this. This is some type of, of coil, and this one works really well. It's just a coil of wire round around. Um, I've actually made two others. Here's one I made with nails. Uh, and this is just normal wire. It doesn't, it works. I got this one to work, okay? But uh, it's not as good. You want some ferromagnetic material in the middle. Uh, soft iron is the best, uh, but the, the nails have to be attracted to a magnet. And then this one, this makes basically an electromagnet. Here's another one I made. Uh, this is, uh, this is soft iron. And I wrapped this magnet wire around here. And the magnet wire uh, has this enamel coating on it. And if you, you need that in order to make sure that it forces the electric current in a loop. Okay, so let's just start off with something very simple. I'm going to take my 9 volt battery, I'm going to hook it to this, and we can see that it is indeed an electromagnet. And that's not what we're building. Okay, so I'm going to plug these two in. Actually, let's plug that one in. Unplug that one. Uh, now, I'm also using these uh, alligator clip wires. If you don't have these, you can get these at a lot of different places. They're really cheap. You don't have to have them. You can use normal wire and just like either twist it on there or solder it on there. That all works. So this one has two connections right there. And there it's connected. Now I'm going to connect it to the battery and then we can see what happens with this paper clip. So I can turn the magnet on and off. This actually has a, a core in there that makes it uh, a little bit magnetic even when the current's not on. Okay, but not too much. So here's what we're gonna make. We're gonna make a buzzer that's also a radio. So the idea is this. I'm gonna take this paper clip. I like these thin ones because they bend a little bit better. Um, I'm gonna unbend it like that. Now, I'm gonna mount this on the board, So, but I wanna be able to connect a wire right there, so I'm gonna take this end and bend it up. That way I can I can clip one of my wires there. And also I'm going to bend this up and over so that it's not on the ground. So let's just go ahead and mount that. There. See, that's why I like the, this cork board. Uh, let me put another, another one right there just so it's on there tight. Okay. So, so now that kind of can bend. And I can get the electromagnet to move that. And, and I'm going to make this into a buzzer. Okay, so here's how this is going to work. I'm going to take this. These wires are getting a kind of complicated. So let me just connect this one right here. And I'm not going to connect this other wire from the battery, from the coil, to here. I'm going to actually connect it over here. Let me get a picture. I have a picture. Let me show you. So here's what we're going to draw. Here's what we're going to make. I started this picture for you. So here's my coil of wire, and here's my battery. What I and I'm going to have two paper clips. So this first paper clip, let's put this right here. So I'm going to run this one to the battery like that. This other one's going to go. This wire is going to go to the, this paper clip, and then this paper clip is touching this other paper clip, and this paper clip is going to run down here go over that wire into there. So now what happens when I have it in this situation, the electromagnet's going to be on and it's going to bend this paper clip and pull it down. And when that happens, these will no longer be touching and it will turn off the circuit. When it turns off the circuit, there's no electric current and there's no magnet. And so this will get pushed back up, which will turn the circuit back on. So we have this feedback system. When the magnet's on, it's going to turn it off, which makes it turn back on. 
Okay, so that's what we're gonna try to build. So I, I just wanted to show you that because the wires can get a little messy. So here is my battery. Here is my, I'm gonna just hold that. Uh, now I need another piece over here. I need another uh, wire. So I'm gonna have a paper clip. I'm gonna put this right here. And so it's gonna be connected. So let's just uh, bend this up so I can connect. I can just do it like this. I'm gonna pull this and bend it up. See now when it's bent up, I can I can clip a wire to that. So I have I'm getting confused too here. Okay, so now I'm gonna clip to this, and then this goes back to the to the battery. Now, but I want to thumbtack this down so that it's pushing up against this. So remember, I need a complete circuit in order to make this thing work. Let me put two thumbtacks here. And I'm going to have to bend this around to get it to work. Okay, but right now, these two are touching. If I get this magnet to pull it down, it will not touch. It'll turn off the current. Okay, so I think we're ready. And let's see if it works. So I'm just going to touch this to the battery. I'm going to hold this right here. I can feel something a little bit, but I'm going to get it closer. when it's barely touching. And you should be able to feel a little bit of an effect. Do you see that? Now I'll see I lost it. Can you see that? Okay. I that that's it. Okay, it works. Now I'm gonna show you how this is a radio because notice that, I don't know if you can see the little spark down there. I wanna get the camera closer, but I don't want to move anything. Let's see, what could I prop this up on? I'm gonna prop this up on a textbook. This is my uh, mathematical physics textbook, just so I can get the platform closer so you can see it a little bit better. Is that close enough? How about one more book? X-rays and experiments by Compton. It just use, I'm not damaging the book, don't worry about it. Okay, so now you can kind of see, uh, I'll look right here and watch for that spark. Can you see that spark? I don't know why it stops after a little bit. I think I'm just not getting this close enough. It is finicky. You gotta play around with it. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna hope that works because it only appears to work for a little bit. Now I'm gonna take this. This is your classic uh, radio, and I want to put it in AM. So I'm gonna turn this on. Now it's tuning to a static page. Okay, uh, it's in it's in AM. So I'm gonna put that right there. Now. Watch what happens when I touch this. So every time this makes a spark, it produces electromagnetic radiation. It produces an electromagnetic wave, but it's it's really terrible, right? I can do Morse code here, and I can send a signal out. This is the original way that they made radios. It's called a spark gap generator radio. Now, the problem is that there's no channels, right? This just produces on all frequencies. And so this radio would pick it up, but then I can't have another radio next to it, and they could both talk because they'd both interfere with each other. So the loudest radio wins, the one with the most current wins. Uh, but there you go. There's your basic spark gap generator. Uh, you can use these for other things, too. And they have more complicated versions of these. But the the... I wanted to make something as simple as possible just so you can see how it works. And so if you want to do it with this, you would replace that right here and you can probably get it to work. Um, let's just see real quick if it works. I don't think it worked because I don't think I have the most optimized setup. You want this to be able to be very loosely attached right there. So if this works, I'm going to be very surprised. So let's just say that it's not going to work. No. I'm not feeling anything. Okay, 
uh, but it will work with this. And you can build this on your own. You don't need the cork board. You just need to mount these somewhere. You only need two paper clips. Uh, probably some type of pliers to bend stuff. So there you go. Spark gap generator with a paper clip. Two paper clips.